with you 16 ideas how you could keep your house warm. If you are new here, my name is Esti. I'm a Singaporean living in North Sweden. So if you haven't subscribed, do it so you can get some tips um, from how to survive and how to live in Sweden. So I'm going to start off by my first uh, tips that I have in mind is um, keeping it warm can be very challenging if the electricity is being cut off which we know might happen anytime so this could be a good this could be a good video hopefully for you so I'm going to start off with my first tips if you stay in a house where there is a fireplace you guys know fire is uh, keeping the house warm very quickly so for us if you don't have electricity a fireplace could be one good way to keep your house warm it's not only cheap and it's also very effective so our uh, what do you call it open space not open space open uh, space they call it uh, in Sweden it's uh, surrounded with this ceramic and not ceramic I'm a bit out today <laughs> it's covered with these bricks and the bricks is quite good because it will keep the heat warm longer so I have one that is made of uh, just aluminium it was not so helpful so fireplace is definitely one and also the space that you are heating up also is very important uh, if possible, keep the space uh, in very small area because uh, you want to be effectively uh, heating up the house as quickly as possible. And when you are doing that, uh, you also prevent others' room from being uh, cold. So if you see my, my place, there is no door at all. So actually, if you want, you should put up like a curtain that is made of very thick material so that you only keep this small as you can see this area is not really that big yeah so for me to heat up this um, room just 15 minutes um, another thing that I would say is a candle if you have candle candle is not cheap I would say because um, uh, it's a it's a matter of choice if you don't have like a fireplace like this candle may not be a stupid idea too this way is much expensive because uh, this kind of candlestick can be really expensive for me I suggest you get this kind of uh, tea light candle these are tea light candles and I bought this uh, decorative a house is made of metal and I think it's really really good because uh, I just lighted this just five minutes ago already it's already hot so I think I bought this for like 50 krona which is about <laughs> five dollars and it's quite big as you can see it's really big so this will also help to produce heat so you can heat up the house naturally I have people use a uh, terracotta or uh, flower pot and that is a little bit dangerous because it will produce a uh, carbon monoxide and that is not good uh, for you uh, I'm sure you some of you have seen them in uh, print dress and some people produce that kind of video on YouTube uh, and I heard it's very uh, very dangerous for our health so this way I'm not so scared and then also it's just also good to have like small candle like this like around the house in this case you just need one and then you put into different different corners and again uh, yeah try to be like a more um, balance i said because if you just heat up one side then only one side is cooled cool uh cool and the other side is warmer so the temperature is uneven 
Another one thing that I really like is this kind of a bag. I think I tried to show you guys uh, before, but I couldn't find this. Close them and you put them under your blanket and it will keep you long, uh, warm for at least two, three hours. So this is really good. All you need is just boiling water, fill it up and it will keep you warm immediately. Uh, another thing that I thought about is uh, using the insulation method. As you guys can see, this is the door that uh, we have. Uh, I currently use a mosquito net to cover them. So if you want to insulate the door, what you can do is that you get this kind of silver tape. Uh, uh, we call that silver tape or some people call that masking. Was it masking tape? anyone know so what you do is that you seal this whole door from the outside this is the inside of the door right then this is the frame of the door so what you do is that you can make like a curtain and then you seal this tape all the way up leaving this like an opening here so you can get out of the, the room so by doing that, you will somehow block out all the cold air from coming in because you want to go in and out all the time, right? Duct tape, yes! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so duct tape, you call that. <laughs> uh, so try and do something like this, like a curtain, because this will definitely help to block out. And also, as you can see, below there, you know there's a gap, right, on the door? Uh, underneath so you can use a blanket or a towel that is thick enough and then you cover them it will stop the cold air from coming in and if you have a pet like us we have a cat door <laughs> or a dog door so you can do the same thing too with this uh, idea uh, you want to take them and then make sure you have like an opening and of course, you have to train your animal or pets how to use them. Uh, I basically find that it is very important to, uh, how do you call it, to think whatever possible. You, you not only do that with the door, you also can do that with the window also. Uh, and uh, just a panel, metal panel. So you see, I cut off my curtain. Actually, my curtain is very, very long. So that will prevent the heat from heating. So if you are having no electricity, so this doesn't work. But if you want to just save uh, money on electricity bill, this can be done. All you need is remember not to block this element or water uh, heating uh, system in the house. And I, during this kind of cold night, I like to drink hot tea. Uh, hot tea, I find it's really useful. Uh, when I drink hot tea, I feel, you know, like within 10 minutes, I'm warm already. And of course, wine helps to red wine. So this is, can be a really good way to heat up your body very quickly. Um... And also, you notice that, let me just go here so that you could see me easier from distance. You notice this uh, table is, can be used as a sleeping area. Because if you are sleeping in a room, uh, the room temperature uh, in Sweden during the winter can be very, very cold. So what you can do is instead of buying a small tent, because when you sleep in a very concealed place, it's going to be very cozy and toasty right so if you don't have money for a tan why not use a table right all you need to do is to buy a bigger piece of blanket that is thick cover it and then sleep underneath that can be a bit and again it's concealed uh, and that you probably can sleep at least one person or uh, if you have two bed uh, if you have two table it's even better so that is what I can suggest that using a table save money. Uh, also, uh, when when we are uh, when when we have this curtain, 
uh, the material is very important. Use a thicker material because uh, like the one that you saw uh, that I have, the material is very, very thin. So use something that is thicker so that and during the daytime is hotter, right? So open the, not open the window, let the window be heated. So when it is heated enough in the evening before you go to bed, cover them, you know, with your thick uh, curtain because that will also prevent the heat from going out of the house. Uh, in fact, I've written a note here. Let me see if I have covered everything. Um, tape the window. Oh, yes. If you have a solar lamp, use a solar lamp because that will save you um, electricity. But we have a big lamp like this. So this can be used as like a room lamp. Just need to hang them somewhere <laughs> so that it will heat up the whole room. And also, uh, rug... Rug is a uh, other either carpet. Rug is very good because if you have a thick good rug, you can uh, sleep on it because that will prevent your uh, the coldness from the from the ground to get onto your body. So with a rug and a sleeping bag and maybe one two layers of thick blanket will be good. And also, one thing, wool clothes. I know this may be sounding very ridiculous. Wool hat, wool glove, wool scarf, wool clothes if possible. If you don't have that, if the clothes is thick enough, it should do the, it should do the work. So I think that way you will keep your body from uh, cold. And yeah. And then I have one more idea, right? Um, let's go to the kitchen. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this is a wooden stove. Okay, this is a wooden stove. This is very good to have them, especially during this uh, time. Uh, if you don't have electricity, you can heat up this wooden stove and then not only that it will help you to um yeah blanket too you're right <laughs> so wooden stove is also very easy use this wooden stove to boil water and even cooking right now we are not using this because we already have a stove uh, so this can be a alternative stove where you could cook without electricity uh, this kind of stove is can be very very costly because uh, nowadays uh, I just noticed on Facebook last time when they put it out on Facebook for sale people even give away but nobody want you know I think over the past few months I've been monitoring Facebook uh, marketplace a lot of people were asking do you have like a stove I want to buy a wooden stove so this is something that you can buy now when you still afford and if somebody is willing to give away or sell at a very reasonable price, take the opportunity to buy it because this is a really good investment for not only cooking uh, and it also helps to keep the house warm. And you notice we close the door from this room because again, like I said, you know, it is very important to conceal those places where you want to preserve the heat. So what that is missing now for me now is to, you know, make a curtain here so that I could stop the heat from traveling to the living room where, you know, where you plan to sleep. So overall, the idea is very simple. I think it's all common sense here. Um, what I really like about having a small, cozy place is that you can, you know, you, you don't have a bigger space because when you have a bigger space, it really requires a lot of energy, money to heat up. So, I think that's about all, yeah? I, I have covered all, I hope. 
So guys, if you have any ideas which I miss out, let me know in the comment and don't mind sharing them with everybody that are looking for the tips here. It would be very useful if you could do that so other people could benefit from your tips too. Uh, okay, oh, another thing I noticed, I just found out Sam has been sitting in the toilet for as long as I know. So the other day, I didn't know it was working. I, I didn't know it is working. So the other day, what I do is I take this out. Uh, maybe I'll just show you how easy it is to slide up. Okay. If you guys have this kind of lamp, uh, maybe as a decoration, just test and see if it works. This one works really well. Let me just get a lighter. So what you do is that you lift this up. And I think that is a special kind of oil in it. Not petrol because if you put petrol, it will smell petrol and it's not good for the health. So there is like a knob here where you could raise. See? And then you could sink it. So they suggest that you don't raise too much because if you raise too much, it would be uh, a lot of uh, smoke. You see? It would be a lot of smoke. So if you cover them, if you want to uh, be safe, turn off low. And this one has to be very careful. Huh? Just put them in gently and then if you need to raise oh you see can be quite bright and then you can control it and they suggest that you don't on it too high uh, because you'll get really dark here and then you might have to wash them regularly and also if you have them too high uh, the there's a smell uh, depending on what kind of uh, uh, low uh, liquid you are using. I think this is a lamb oil, uh, and I heard you can also use certain cooking oil too. Village bonfire. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. It is. I don't know if this is made of wool. To me, it looks like a shoe. You know those shoe lace. So this I thought it was very good and if you fill up the whole thing which is about 200 ml this could uh, last for 12 hours those candle only last, last 4 hours and then this one can last for 12 to 16 hours so just turn it off by blowing off so I find these are the things that you can easily get at um, even flea market and they are really really um, cheap a lot of people they don't even know if it is working you know they just sell this away uh, I found one actually uh, last weekend on um, on Saturday there was a like a flea market so this kind of flea market is a very good way good place where you could source for very cheap um, survivor uh, material or gadget where you you know people never thought about that and they just want to get rid of it and this is the best time for you to buy them so okay i hope you enjoy this video if you do uh, or if you have any questions or if you have any tips to share please do that uh, i really uh, hope that you have a safe week and a peaceful one i hope thank you amanda and thank you living by continental by continental after staying in sweden for a few years i know this um when i read english uh, i tend to speak swedish and i really hate it because sometimes my audience don't understand me so if you feel that i speak very weird let me know okay so that i know what mistake i made thanks for watching i'll see you in my next bye bye